actually like a 7-Eleven, but yep. they slapped a taqueria in there, hmm. and it's great. Because you can go there, you can get the best floor, which is like pork, or you can go get barbacoa, and dear God, that is the juiciest barbacoa I've ever had in my life, and it's flavor and it's amazing. I'm just loving it. All right, bro. Uh, I think it was beef. It tastes like beef. It was seasoned real good, though. God damn it. I'm like, honestly, I left that place. I came home and I sat down and I was playing uh, Street Fighter and I kept thinking to myself, God damn it, I want another taco. <laughs> That's all I thought about for the rest of the day. All right, but. Gonna get in a hand where we're gonna quake. Well, winners. No, okay, this no, is no, actually. No, this is, this is, we're going into it. Winners finals FX and Yojo versus PG FX Wobbles. Um, he's not gonna wobble. He's gonna do some dope stuff, though. He's adding in those dash dances in between mm. the handoffs. And at 85%, he's going to go for the edge guard attempts here. Ugh, I think he was going to try it. So that was a pretty tricky business. That's going to get negated because yeah. he just waits for him to come back and then he all smashes. I mean, Hamlet added, added a mix-up, right? He did the air dodge up in the top platform. Like, you don't often see that sort of thing. Right. You just mix it up there. Mm. Mm. Oh. Takes him up. Okay. Interesting up smash. Not sure what he's going for. Mm, that, that smash, though. Man, and two stocks basically uncontested. In one uh, in less than a minute. Less than a minute. It was, uh, ooh, not a not a great look. He just pokes at him, trying to see. Hey, come down. Say hi to me. Oh, mm, I don't understand why he would have gone for dash attack there. Wow. Uh, uh, probably not in Dutch, but it's okay. It's okay. We check those. Yeah, not a safe spacing. That up air from my scammer's gonna come through and punish those. Because he was throws. sitting there on the platform, he went for the get-up attack, guessing that Wobbles is going to continue to capitalize on the momentum that he's building. Hold ledge. Follow up. Uh, yeah, going to lose Nana for it, but good positioning here. Getting him off stage and finds the back air off stage. I mean, that's pretty sick, right? Because you you have this move that comes out so quickly right in front of you, and you have the invulnerability. You might as well see if you can test someone as they're landing, right? Mm. Okay. Tricky movement by Hamlin, but the crouch cancel on that jab. Oh, he try. guessed the down smash was coming, so he spot dodged. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, man. Very nice decision. Very nice reaction, seeing that his opponent air dodged, knowing that he's not going to be able to make it back up on the stage. Man. Pretty rough game one. Yeah, definitely. It was, it was pretty quick. I think that was like less yeah. than three minutes. Yeah, it was very fast. That's a problem. It is definitely a problem. I mean, Hamlin has been having a problem with this matchup, have, losing consistently to, to Bananas, actually. Um, lost to him... I don't remember if it was one or two sets at the uh, at Dime. I mean, even a long time ago, uh, he he would pick Marth to try to deal with these characters. Yeah, yeah, he's been uh, messing a lot with, toying a lot with the idea of playing as a different character versus Ice Climbers. Uh, saying earlier today that he's just gonna try Sheik. Um, oh so man, this matchup looks really rough. Because it is. I mean, when you think about Sheik's offense and how she gets her offense generated, her yeah. starter, her flint, so to speak, is down throw. Yeah, right? Exactly. And you don't get that here. No, you just don't. You don't get that at all. At all. And, I mean, they're more than happy to crouch cancel any offensive pressure that you try doing right. until uh, roughly, what, 30? Mid percentages, we'll just go with that. Yeah. And then at that point, Ooh. they still are going to get grabs on you and then mess you up. Right. Like that. Exactly. So it, it's really tricky. Um, I, I could imagine the counterplay to it could involve a lot of zoning. Um, I don't know. How do you zone Ice Climbers, though? Like, Sheik doesn't have anything that's really going to zone them out. Exactly. Like, you still have to charge Needles. Uh, yeah, you have to charge Needles. And, like, Needles aren't particularly threatening to them because the the big reason why Needles are good is that it, like, it cuts off a section of the stage where you just can't be. Right. But Ice Climbers Wave Dash it moves oh. through that so fast yeah. that they can slip around those Needles. And, like, any time Sheik tries to... Like, one of her weaknesses is that her short hop is actually pretty high, mm -hmm. so she can't really do rising aerials. She has to short hop and then fall with them. And that is a pretty big window for Ice Climbers to wave that shin and then do, like, when we saw Wobbles actually just anti-air with up tilt earlier, mm -hmm. just getting below him and then pulling the rug out from underneath his, his, his legs where he can land. So the game plan definitely has to involve, though, disarming Icy's, right? Yes. Because if you just put just Sheik against Sopo... Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Fine. That's not a problem at we all. We take that. But removing Nana from the equation... Difficult. Yeah, like right there, he actually hit Nana twice, and because she low base knockback growth on her stuff, like she, she, she went nowhere. Like there was no threat of her dying. If he did continue it at all, Wobbles would have like up aired him and got free damage, got free presence. And it's not like other characters where like like Fox or uh, or Peach, where you can just hit them with an aerial and then threaten to kill Nana right off the bat. Ooh, that was nasty. That was a good handoff. Mm, that's gonna be it. They're gonna sacrifice him. the Nana, but gonna get that stock. Most certainly worth it whenever you got a lead like this. Absolutely. As long as you can maintain it comfortably, 
I mean, he's only at 41% here on his yeah. third stock. He's very comfortable. Yeah, gonna be looking for that grab. You can get some re-grabs against Sheik. Up until, like, I want to say 40-ish percent, depending Something on like that. It, it's, it's gonna be surprisingly long on, like, Sheik. Wait. I think you have to do slight DIs to kind of help you get out of some of those situations Possibly. as well, correct? Um, there are definitely ways you can trick up the DI by, like, slight DIing behind or slight DIing forward. I don't know if it's still guaranteed if you do those DIs. Mm. I mean, anything that forces at least your opponent to have to react or have to change up a little bit. Yeah, it's always nice. Pull. Okay. All right. Takes the chance, gets the pull needles. And now Hamlin has his back to the wall at 70%. Um, he now has to fear down smash. Okay, going to play safe. Looking like he's going to try to camp the platforms a little bit. So one of the things that um, it looks like he's trying to do is just being cautious about spacing on those fares. Yeah. He's also trying to abuse the fact that he'll get these arrows after he drops down from platforms. Mm, See, so he did such a good job controlling all that space and putting on all that damage. But now, I mean, it's just one lost interaction, and and the stock's gone. Man, it's rough. That is rough. Really rough. There's a lot of characters that Sheik just absolutely destroyed. Absolutely. Like, she's actually, like, she's kind of like Brawl Falco and yeah. that there are a lot of characters. I'm sure you understand me saying this now. Yes. Like maybe the Brawl demonstration. There's a lot of characters where they get, they're like, oh, I'm going to play against you. And they're like, oh, sweet, let's play. This will be fun. Like, I play, like, a decent character. It's like, sweet, I'm going to grab you. And you're like, oh, okay, are you going to do anything else? No. 